If you're someone who invests regularly, especially in mutual funds, you might have seen return figures shown as CAGR or XIRR. But what do these terms actually mean? And more importantly, which one should you rely on when evaluating your returns? Let's simplify it. Using CAGR versus XIRR, which return should you trust? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Let's start with CAGR or Compound Annual Growth Rate. It shows you how much your investment has grown on average each year, assuming the growth is smooth and steady, even if it wasn't in reality. So for example, if you invested 1 lakh rupees and it turned into 1.5 lakh rupees in 3 years, the CAGR tells you the fixed annual growth rate that would have resulted in that. It's easy to understand and useful when you invest a lump sum, like a one-time deposit. But here's the catch. CAGR doesn't account for regular or irregular cash flows. So if you're investing through a monthly SIP, CAGR won't give you the full picture. Now let's talk about XIRR or Extended Internal Rate of Return. This is a bit more advanced but super useful. XIRR takes into account each investment you make, the amount and the exact date and calculates the overall return accordingly. That means if you've been using a step-up SIP calculator to gradually increase your SIPs, or if you've made redemptions in between, XIRR captures all of it. So for most regular investors, especially those doing mutual fund SIP investment, XIRR is the more accurate number to look at. In short, use CAGR for lump sum investments, use XIRR for SIPs or any investments involving multiple transactions. Both are valid, but choose based on how you have invested. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more clear, no jargon investing guidance. Thank you for watching. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.